Hello, um, today just a quick tip to show one way of um, marking activities as 100% complete in Primavera P6. So normally or uh, one way of marking an activity that has not started that's 100% complete, it's um, by on the, under the, in the activity details form under the status tab you just check the started and finished checkbox. You tick the start and finish checkbox. In Microsoft Project, you have a, you have a menu, where, an, an option where you can just mark 100% complete and it will mark the activity as 100%. But in P6, I'm not aware of one of such facilities. So say we want to mark this activity A1000 as complete. We'll check. We tick the we tick the started checkbox. Yeah, this date. Let's say we want to keep this date. Then we we tick the finish checkbox. We want to change it to say fourth of April. That you see, we've had to tick two checkboxes. But there's a way to save to save time. Save you just save like ten seconds or five seconds. You don't need to click and uh, tick both checkboxes. So for this activities A for this activity A ten ten, if we say it's hundred percent complete, instead of ticking the first and second checkbox, we just tick the second checkbox, the finish checkbox. For an activity to finish, it must have started. So it automatically ticks the started checkbox for you. You can come here and change the start date. So for this, we say to start on the fifth. And this, yeah, this is fine for the for the sixteenth. And that's it. So I'll repeat it again. You want to mark this as hundred percent complete. Tick the finish checkbox, and it it's also tick the start started checkbox for you. That's it for the first tip. Um, for the second one, it's a way of um, navigating to date prompts. So let's say this activity A1050, we've been told it was meant to start on the 22nd of April and we've been told it no longer it will start to now start say the fifth sometimes in July. So let's I don't like using constraint, but for the purpose of this demonstration, I'll use one. Let's say we want to put a start on or later on on or after constraints. So we go to July. Now, when we are navigating to this date prompt, it's either you click through these arrows. You click one June, July two times. Or let's say it's actually we want to date in September. You you do two. two August three times, finally September four times. So you have to click four times to get to that date. There's a quicker way of doing that. You just come, you click on the month, and the display will change to months, and you click on the month you want, September this time. Now pick a date, so I just go for say second of September. That will save you a few clicks. Just so it's just, we're talking of seconds for both tips, but if you've got so many activities to update, I mean, this would be to save you a few minutes, or maybe in the tens of minutes, you know. And it's same also, let's say this activity has been deferred to 2025, it's the same thing, you click on the month, gives you a full year, you just click on this, and it, the arrow tab, the arrow button, and it changes to the next year. And you pick your month. Say it's moved by one month, one year, if it's 2025. Yep, that's all for today. I did tell you to be a quick one. Take care and enjoy your weekend. <music>